matches so far. We've talked about teams reversing. Oh, yeah. Or getting reversed or hepped. I mean, how do you have such a cool hype this. video, too? Gates are going to unlock. Brian are actually coming out of the right heart to start us off. We were asking what they were going to do to deal with this. This is so a few things off the bat. Um, Patty's going to be just trying to enable Rein Reiner on the Reinhardt. Kind of looking for Maywall isolations, mainly on the tank, but really anyone who puts himself in a bad position. I like that Kevster just doesn't automatically go to the Reaper on this composition, although it wouldn't be a bad idea. It does give Kevster and just the Glads an option to play ranged, because with Reaper, you can't just sit back and shoot. You have to play with the team, and you just have to be constantly making plays, right? But Kevster, if he wants to follow the team, he can. If he wants to sit back and just poke, he can. So I like that. That's why I've been kind of saying, like, <coughs> throughout this meta, of, like, I've been just preferring Soldier just because I'm always going for the safer option. Just play whatever is easiest and safest and gives you the most options for win conditions. Also, hey, Celery Man. Except for the two seconds of whiffs. Oh, I actually didn't even pay attention. That's funny that he has whiffs in his video. His, his hype video is super cool, though. Um, uh, I think Reaper, like, you have to be making plays into the back line to kind of justify playing him because of his limitations in range, um, which I felt like Kai did a good job of that from the Atlanta Reign last, uh, last series we watched. But that's going to be what Edison has to do. But it synergizes really well with Hanbin, because at least you make that, <coughs> that TP play a lot easier by having the bubble. Um, it is... <coughs> oh, sorry, I keep coughing. I think I went up the stairs, I'm out of breath, Flamel. Um, it's important to time the bubble for when, as soon as he starts his TP, you have to bubble it, so that when Edison arrives to his destination, he still has the bubble. And he doesn't get slapped or, or booped or whatever the fuck. Because Reaper is just so vulnerable at the start and at the end of the teleport. But, like, we're in the Overwatch League. So that type of execution shouldn't be a problem. Now that Sparkle's on the Echo, he'll also be receiving bubbles. So Hodman has to be really smart on who he gives it to and when. And make and the DPS have to be smart enough to know, like, hey, do you have bubble? It's like when you play with Azaria, even in Overwatch 1, a lot of the questions you're going to ask is, do you have bubble? Or the Zari will tell them, I have bubble for you. Um, so it takes a good amount of coordination. Then you have the Ana for some nano stuff. Playing Ana on control, especially Lei Zhang, can be quite difficult. Because Ana has unlimited healing range, right? But it's all based on line of sight. So, but because this map is so small... Ana has to be kind of closer to the fight than she generally likes to be. So playing Ana in control can be really risky. Um, not risky as in bad to do, but you're just a lot more accessible to Tracers, which is very popular on this map, to Dive, which is popular on this map. So um, you might, that's why it's maybe sometimes better to whip out on the Baptiste instead, because you have similar burst heals to the Ana, especially after the patch, but you also have an immortality. and so if you get Dove on, if the Tracer's harassing you, if any ult comes your way, you can just use Immortality. And it's not something that is like a catch-all, like, well, I dropped Immortality, therefore I'm going to live. You're only going to live a little bit longer than you're supposed to. And Ana can do similar things. She can sleep and ante and peel for herself, but if she gets Pulse Bomb, there is no coming back from that. So both Ana and Bap are kind of being played and tossed around in the meta because of those different niche uh, roles that they're trying to accomplish. Obviously, Ana's a little bit more offensive because you can nano someone and kind of enable your DPS, while as BAP is safer on the back line, you know, immortality, you can kind of save somebody potentially with that, or you cannot. And the air matrix is, is pretty good too. Oh. It's an interesting match to, map to play the rush. You can see... So yeah, Glads are just going to play on the point because they want to play close range as much as possible. And Kevster can hold white room or he can even hold an off angle on the bridge. But if Kevster finds himself by himself, he could also get pushed on by Edison or a Sparkle. So Echo is really good at killing people who are isolated. 
because you go, you fly over, you sticky bomb, you're focusing beam. So Kevster just has to be kind of careful of sparkle and just, you know, give him the right amount of attention. The only issue here is that <coughs> because Glads are playing so far away, let's see, Hanbin's already half health, gives a bubble over to Edison. They're taking a ton of fucking poke. I think that was Kevster's right click that just got Edison pretty low there. And then as soon as they got that right click from Kevster on Edison and got him super low, Glads make the call of, hey, Edison's low, let's fucking roll his ass. And then Funny Astro activates the speed and they run him over. So it was really good execution of the rush. As a fuel fan, you're entitled to get mad about this match. Hey, I love the fuel too. They're switching over to the rush comp themselves. Feel it goes to the Baptiste Hanbin on the Reinhardt. Sparkle on the May. Something we oh, yeah. have not seen much from yeah, the maybe you... so far this season. All right, right, oh, Sparkle's on the... Oh, go. they just matched the rush. Okay, I like it. Just completely mirror it. Oh, actually, except Edison's on the Reaper still. So, this is now <coughs> going to be a difference of who's going to be making the plays between Edison and Kevster. Is Edison going to have time time and the opportunity to TP behind the rush? Or he could also just play this front to back where Edison's just going to follow the team and then just hope to shield break Reiner's shield. Um, but he has to be pretty close to do that because the range on Reaper, not great. And Kevster, he can just play fuck off now. I mean, there's no one on fuel that can pressure Kevster anymore. Unless Edison TPs, which might be a risk because you can get booped, you can get immortality, you can get walled off. So it's like, uh, I'm interested to see how Edison's going to play though. So far, he's just playing front to back, but obviously he's too far away to TP anyway. There's the first Maywall. Oh, that's actually really good. Howdy thought he could walk out of it. Really good Maywall by Sparkle. Kevster already has a fucking visor, are you serious? Jesus. All right, let's review that fight. First, you gotta be careful of these doorways. These can be walled off. So it's like, you kinda have to follow your Reinhardt around. And I think Howdy and, Howdy and Reiner get a little bit disconnected. Howdy maybe thought it was time to brawl, and Reiner was like, let's not fight in this tiny room while our supports are on the outside of it, because we can get walled off, and just a slight disconnect there. But Kevster's just putting, like, uncontested damage into them. Now Kevster's ulting, and no one paid attention to Kevster. So, like, Dallas Fuel, they walk up here, they wall off Patty, they kill Patty, and they run after Reiner and the rest of the Glads who were stationed over here, but Kevster took an off angle and then just visored everyone who walked past. So that was a cool play. We'll see if it turns the fight, though, for Glads. Still kills a three for one. It's huge. So what? You'll have two people left now? <laughs> one person left? It's just Hanbin? Hanbin should just go and dive, because... Lads have already capped the point. There's like no point of stalling. Oh, Edison's back and he's dead too. They should just jump off. Why are they? Why are they still here? Okay, I guess Fuel thought that they could get everyone back in time. A little bit scrappy do. Kill Kevster. I mean, yeah. That's the thing. It's like it's kind of up to Edison to TP where Kevster is, but all Kevster has to do is, like, play far away. Maybe Fielder can shoot him at range, but, like, anyway. So this is a fantastic Maywall from Patty because it zones off the Ant Matrix with Fielder. But Reiner, or Hanbin, survives. It's charged by Reiner. I mean, Reiner just straight up has more experience and more time on this hero. So I'm not going to be surprised at all if Reiner just does better. <laughs> Yeah, that was a really good wall from Patty. Just an idea at Matrix there. I think Dallas Fuel were all kinds of 
think they probably should have properly reset. I don't even know if... Either way, it doesn't matter. They have so many Edison to TPs to the point. The they only have Not useful. Well, just probably just try to... Oh my fucking dog. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just... In a Ryan v. Ryan matchup, when you have ult, he has ult. So Hanbin should be knowing that Reiner has Shatter. It should be trying to, like, block it, essentially. But this charge completely whiffs. And this is Overwatch 2 where you can cancel charge. As soon as you don't think you're hitting a target, you should maybe just be trying to cancel it. Like, everyone gets fucking slammed. It's good that Chiyo used sound bearer while that was happening. But, like, Hanbin's now trying to chase a soldier who's gonna outrun him. So, Hanbin's just, like, not doing anything. That's just, like, maybe in Overwatch 1 you could chase down a soldier. I'm not even 100% sure, but Overwatch 2, nobody can catch up to three patch soldiers. I think, like, the thought would have been to maybe, if Hanbin would have charged past Reiner and got some swings out to the back line, he would have had Shatter, and then maybe he could have, like, Shattered from the back line. But then Hanbin just charged, didn't cancel, went after Kevster, who outran him, and then Reiner just Shattered Hanbin's whole team and got value quicker. But, like, no one is surprised that, like, Reiner, the Reinhardt main, is diffing the off tank on Reinhardt. Like I'm not, I'm not surprised. Interesting. Coming into this first round. And it's just Dallas Fuel who are just obviously playing a comp that I won't say that they haven't scrimmed, but like they swap to this comp. They swap to the mirror. And Edison didn't ever like go and pressure Kester, and I'm not even 100% sure like how viable that would be, right? Because all Kester would have to do is like play dojo or something like if dallas fuel are coming from white room kevster plays dojo and if edison even gets into somehow hey, yo, tp range you. kevster just runs away appreciate you. like soldier's just so good oh hey hey face thanks for the prime welcome to the stream welcome to the fruit basket my nose is leaking i think it's because i'm starting to vent again or rant so and this is what i mean of the difference between playing reaper and soldier in that pre-patch is that Soldier's mobility is so fucking crazy, and he has range. He has range and burst. And it's like the only way the Reaper was going to work is if he had the, the like surprise factor on Kevster, or if he played front to back, where like you break Reiner's shield and you like go forward. But playing front to back didn't work for Edison, because they did that first fight, and then Kevster built up uh, built, built up tack visor as soon as Hanbin just started swinging and then Kevster just tack visor the whole team. Edison never got a death blossom. I mean, to be fair, they swapped to this comp. So yeah, I, I mean, Dallas will swap to this comp, so it's like, it's, it's sort of forgivable that they didn't get ults before Glatz, you know? That's kind of like why you need to have the best composition right off the gate. So anyway. Kevster good. TLDR Kevster good. This stream is 100% what I need right now. What's wrong, hey face? Or are you just trying to learn? It's a learning stream. Alright. So fuel... So this makes a little bit more sense. Now you have Hanbin back on the Zarya. So you can pop, uh, bubble Edison or Sparkle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Edison never swapped. You're right. Oh, my God. So Edison did, does just suck. I mean, to be... I'm oh, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm fucking kidding. Uh, Edison played front to back, so he shot shields the whole time. So that's why he didn't get ult charge. He's shooting shields, which is not a bad thing to do. He had two options, whether to go on a TP flank, which he could have fed, or break shields and hope that worked, but it didn't work. And I already explained why. Um... So this comp is going to be better for Fuel, because yeah, at least you can pocket boy? Edison or Sparkle. What's up? The only Guy downside the is that oh, Reiner is, is going to out-brawl Hanbin at close range. So Hanbin needs to <coughs> not get close to Reiner. Um, yeah. 
see how this goes. So, much damage. Look at that. so Reiner knows it. Well, I don't even know if they know what composition, but Glads are obviously bricked up after 100 to 0 Dallas Fuel. So you might as well just, you know, you're the better Brawl team. You might as well play aggro. So they run up, wall. They wall nothing, but. What the fuck? Sparkle just killed Chu. So right click, swipe. Oh my god. Sparkle is actually so clinical. Yeah, I mean, Zarya is just all about enabling DPS. So, Sparkle just right-click, dash, fucking melee shoe. That was, that was a crazy play. And Sparkle just killed 20 Astro. Sparkle is just diffing. Sparkle is just... This is not the first time. When Fuel... I don't know, did you guys watch the most recent match of Fuel? Where Fuel got shit on by, uh... I, uh, my fucking, uh, what the fuck did they call it? <coughs> uh, I got distracted hey, by messages. I don't know if I want to get anyway, sucked off by an alien Whoever Fuel played recently, feeling, Chad, uh, but... Sparkle swapped a Genji and literally turned the entire map around on Gibraltar. So, Sparkle's Genji is actually insane. Oh, Slappy! Thank you so much for subbing! Two months? Welcome back. Glad to have you. And yeah, Genji can kill very quick. And shooting, I mean, so quick that Shu didn't even have time to react. That was go -time. The fact that Sparkle That's just sparkle won them that entire fight is insane. On on you can never we count out what Sparkle does sparkle for the fuel. Meta. It was going to be incredible, but he was underwhelming. And we saw them move away from that style, but Sparkle already getting that first pick up on Shu. They need to keep that aggression up. Don't allow the gladiators to make these kind of plays. Get towards the point and then rush down their backline. Swift rotation. Chio trying to go for a boom. Was unsuccessful. Sparkle now in the backline. Lap has been okay, I did not pay attention to the start of this fight. Getting that first. Ugh. Edison will get you better value on any other hero. What he can do on his Reaper. It's his best hero. Is it? Oh. I, I don't know Edison that well. They need to keep that aggression so. up. Don't that's his best hero. That also justifies why he's not doing that over Soldier. All right. Guys, rotating coast side scares the shit out of me. I hate playing coast side Another against Lucio's. Because then you have to go through this tiny choke. And there's like two meters away from the edge of death. So, at least Funny Astro is getting the jump to make sure that Chio doesn't get into boop range. But Chio just goes through the window, gets bubbled. I, uh, he doesn't get any... doesn't get any boop. Or sorry. Funny Astro's looking for Sparkle You know what I mean. But somehow Reiner just exploded. Oh, Reiner slept. Where is Shu? Shu's at the doorway. He's rounding the corner. Oh, Shu's around the corner. He can't even see Reiner right now. Yeah, that was just... I don't think Glad should be playing coast side. I think, I think maybe they tried to quickly rotate coast side thinking that if Fuel were in the middle of the map, maybe Glad could have quickly... Like, basically outran them to the point. And then, because if you play from the point with Rush, especially with a Mei, you are in, like, a god-tier position on this map. But, fortunately, fortunately, Glads <laughs> did not beat Fuel to the point and actually put themselves in an awful position. And Shu could not heal Reiner. He was around the corner trying to not get sparkled again. From the Dallas fuel that you need to get to. Look at the ultimate difference from so I get the idea of that rotation, but it's just the board, the sparkle blade is going to be the thing you need to sketchy. I think they can just wait for the nano or they run the Cesario over. Edison TP into the high ground, expecting them to come out the doors, but gladiators rotated to that mega health back, and in fact, all the way around. Now, lads are just trying to play keep away. In, hey, good lamp, but oh, that anti. That's a three man anti from Fielder. It hit Funny Astro, Shu, and Patty. That fight's just over. I mean, glads are just playing keep away. Like, for what reason? Are they trying to get Kevster to just poke? I feel like they should just the run at fuel. They keep the letting point, fuel set up around them. Like they, like Glass just set up in this hallway, thinking maybe they'll keep Kevster safe. They're not going to take as much poke, but like fuel just set up above and around them. And then yeah, I mean to be fair, fuel just used ults, so we'll just chalk okay, it up at that, I guess. Clearly, Glass wanted some poke. They used the Ant Matrix. They want Kevster's visor. Oh fuck. 
Edison's about the death loss in this game. Oh my fucking god. Oh my shit ass. Holy shit. He just shit on their dicks. Edison just shit on their dicks. Holy cow. Oh, this is the, uh, sorry, this is the semi-final. <laughs> this is their first match. Ooh, good bubble on Edison, sound barrier, on Ben just insta grabs before he dies. Oh, Glazer using every ult. Shatter. Shatter, Blizzard, Barrier, Blossom. Or no, Hefster just swapped. That was just who blew more ultimates than the other situation. Also a good pin by Reiner. Got Hanbin really low. Forced the grab out. The Blizzard, while everyone is very close range, obviously had a ton of value. Now Glads are in the god tier position of playing May Rush on Night Market, on the point. Oh, Sparkle is played though, fuck. Mortality, 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 it's dropped. Choose dead. Reiner tries to pin him. God, Sparkle's so fucking good. Yeah. Sparkle good. And the fact that you can play Genji well into... And, like, I'll just kind of point out why that blade was good, too. It's actually pretty hard to... I would say, in my opinion, it's hard to pull off a blade. But it's the way that Glads are playing. They're playing so spread from each other. And I'm not sure if that's, like, on purpose. Maybe it is. Maybe there's the idea of if we play spread apart, then Sparkle can't kill all of us, Lamal. But Shu's going to be his number one target. And that's why it's like immortality only bought Shu a few seconds. And it's maybe up to Reiner to kind of mark him and just swing on him. I wonder what Reiner does this fight. Because we only see kind of what Sparkle's doing. Edison's in the back too. I mean, Jules DPS are just already behind them. I think Reiner's just, yeah, Reiner's just engaging on the front line of fuel, but there is no one there left. I mean, Fielder takes a little bit of damage, so at, at least, like, Glad's come in onto something. I think Reiner and Kevster, and probably Patty as well, committed on the Fielder. But <coughs> as soon as Reiner turns around, his fucking supports are dead. And uh, without Shu, Reiner's ain't gonna get no healing. And Sparkle's just gonna do more damage. Especially if he can just, like, jump above Reiner. That must have been tough. Hesitation from Hosman. Sparkle's Genji, I mean, probably just really is the best Genji. Wait, why is it so dark in this venue? Like, don't even see the sign. So sad. Dallas feel confident in their Zaya style, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that head to head matchup of the Zaya versus the Reinhardt again on command center. Both teams playing to their strengths, and here's just an incredible play by Chio. Just make. Just oh my god, the assassin. So Wait, Chio so killed three? I didn't even see this. For the Dallas feel. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Couple, I will say. That's funny. It's really good. It's really nice seeing good Lucio players, and their movement is just insane. And Cassidy, huh? So fluid. Oh, Kevster on the cast. No Cassidy action as we. I'm trying to think. I think it's like for control center, you're just like super close to medium range, and Cassidy is just not as good uh, as Soldier, just in a vacuum, because mobility to mobility. Cassidy only has like a little tumble. Soldier has like infinite fucking sprint. Soldier's attack visor is. You can move while shooting it. And Deadeye, you're like standing still. Soldier ult better. Soldier mobility better. Um, the only thing that I think Cassidy does a little bit better and is kind of the whole reason why he was more meta in Overwatch 1 is that Cassidy has burst damage. It's like sh the 
per shot damage is obviously more than a per shot damage of soldier. So it does obviously <coughs> test your mechanics a lot more to play Cassidy. So if you're a good Cassidy, you're going to get more value. But playing soldier is more forgivable. That's why anyone who's kind of shitty at aiming should pick up soldier first before Cassidy. Um, but now in Overwatch 2, he has that like stupid little grenade. Um, but it does stick to people. Like, it's, it's magnetic, so it's going to attach to them no matter if you miss it or not. Um, and I think that might try to be an answer to Sparkle, is to just try and burst Sparkle when he engages. Because clearly Sparkle is the only threat on Fuel. And is, if I had to be quite honest, the reason why Fuel are winning. Um, so Glad's, this could be a reaction to that. Um, you keep the Baptiste in, or immortalities also great for amp matrix plus fire stripe stripe fire strike and matrix plus insert dps here like <coughs> i think brig would have been nice but i just don't think brig fits into a rush composition like this you definitely need the lucio and i think lucio brig just wouldn't be enough healing so it's like brig or bap are good solutions to that yeah, discount pulse bomb. I actually like that. Yeah, it's just budget pulse bomb. Um, basically, like a body shot and a grenade is enough to kill, pretty sure, like any non tank hero. We roll out. We saw it picked it the only thing is that Cassidy is very limited in mobility. So, how you use your tumble is very important. It's up yesterday and got a lot but it's up to the funny Astro to just like follow him around, really to be honest. This is just the enable the Kevster comp. The advantage from the gladiators with their speed boost and the Reinhardt. The Dallas Fuel don't want to take that fight in a narrow corridor. They oh, Edison. So the Sparkle just dashed in Edison, with Bubble. Him and Sparkle just want to get into the back line ASAP. And then Laz are just swinging at everything that gets close to them. Chiyo and Sparkle just eventually get found. I mean, like I said, if Genji doesn't get kills, he has no mobility. He needs the dash reset. Or at least, you know, by the time he, the cooldown comes back up anyway. So. Towards that, like, uh, sorry, away from that crowd, not towards yeah. it. I like that Glass just kind of hunker down. As soon as they, they see Sparkle or Edison come in, they just have to swing on those bitches. Now you get to hold this choke, which is super great for Rush. You see Edison is, like, going through the, like, going into the, the frame of the door, but not fully committing in, because he's trying to bait out the Maywall. And I mean, like, worst case, like... He gets Maywalled, he just uses Wraith and hopes that Sparkle or somebody will break the Maywall. So, your bronze tip of the day, if you're playing against a May and your teammate gets Maywalled off, shoot the middle pillars. Shoot whatever pillar of the wall that your teammates are shooting. And then the disengage from the Gladius because they know that the flank is coming from the Now Glads are paranoid because they saw Sparkle go on the right staircase which will lead to a flank. Oh, hey Jindo, what's up? Oh, Sparkle's in a bad position. Oh, Sparkle's dead? Sparkle's not dead. I think Dallas had, uh... Or not Dallas, uh... Glad's had their attention split a little bit. Some people were shooting Edison and some people sh were shooting Sparkle. Because Edison just died and Sparkle was one. Either way, Dallas are so fucked. Oh my... What is this baboon on a gameplay that saved from Fielder? Did you guys see that shit? I think, uh, Watch what Fielder does. Shoot the pillar. You know, like the pillars of the wall. There's a May wall is structured as pillars. You guys know that? <laughs> anyway. In bronze, no one shoots the pillars at all? Yeah. My team just leaves me. Shoot the pillar, you drop immortality. I gotta sneeze. I think I'm good. I did have to cough though. So Fielder's on the other side of this fucking robot thing. Watch what this baboon does. So everyone's like, let's go kill Fielder and Chio, which is obviously the right move to do. Fielder gets bubbled. You see this blue line? You see what this blue line is? That's death. That's a biotic grenade that Fielder just threw in the middle of Glad's. Because Reiner just tried to jump over 
over the robot to go and fucking pound Fielder. And now the entirety of... Okay, maybe that was... Okay, sorry. That wasn't the anti-nade. This is the anti-nade. He jumps over the fucking team. This motherfucker is above the team. And he just throws a bionic grenade above the shield. This fucking guy. I mean, they also got grabbed. But holy fucking shit, Fielder. The absolute cojones on Fielder to be like, man, I'm about to get fucking Gangnam styled by the entire team. I'm going to fucking mount them and insert a biotic grenade where the sun don't shine. What a fucking play. It's just it's bolts? Yeah, it's just fucking bolts over the team. Instantly deleted. We need to we need to use a space jam song. It's a space jam. Alright. Welcome to the space jam. Sparkle's blading. Sparkle is fucking blading. 10 out of 10, glad you're back. Yo! I know, I had I had casting this weekend. That was Yeah. Sparkle's fucking blading right now. Where the fuck is Sparkle? Oh, he is just in the middle of those. This is a hard place to fucking. Oh boy. Because I'm just saying, there's just two different hallways, and the guy that Sparkle wants to kill is around a corner. So it's not like he can just dash and then bend the bullet, Angelina Jolie style. So how does Sparkle do this? Okay, Sparkle just fights from front to back. Did he get nano? No, he did it because Fielder used it to Nano Hanbin last time. Dude, Sparkle's just a god. Sparkle's just a fucking god. How are you? How are you blading a, a Reinhardt and killing him? I'm telling my bronze teammates all the time, stop blading the fucking tanks. And this guy does it. And why can't my teammates do this? Nothing left in the tank for Dallas Fuel right now. They have the beat and the death blossom coming. And how does how does Sparkle get away with that with like Patty just pissing on his face? I don't get it. How does Sparkle keep doing that? Reading your fanfic? Ooh, ooh la la. Doctor gets COVID. Who will save? Oh my fucking god, it's the run after Kepster. Yeah. Yeah, he probably got bubbled and, and pocketed. I'm just surprised he has the damage. Okay, so... <laughs> anyway. Dallas Wheeler trying to hold choke, and gods are like, fuck you, we're gonna go off the hey, staircase and go to boy. Appreciate you. But Edison just... <laughs> TPs and bubbles in to get sound barriered and Kevster already used roll to try and like reload and kill him and Patty uses Blizzard on his own team to stop the fuel and it kind of works out they fuel into to, to kill Kevster and they did it but Reiner's just getting his ankles broken kill Hanbin kill Hanbin kill Hanbin Reiner go kill Hanbin no, he was so low. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is this fight? This rider's having so many issues just getting close to Hanbin. Everyone's just like dangling the fuck out of him. Oh shit, Sir Huge Knot, thank you so much for the sub. I didn't hear you. Three months? Pog. You really like that Patty uses blisters defensively? Yeah gonna have to because that that was really gonna engage into you i don't really think lads are able to engage too much into them now that i'm thinking about it but they but it's like lads don't want to sit there and get engaged on either but i guess if you have blizzard you're fine with that you just blizzard yourself i think hanbin living there is just unfortunate Cause it's like, 
Like, Glad's have the advantage. Glad's killed Edison and Sparkle. So wait, this is a four on three. Four on three for Glad. All they have to do is run down these bitches. Literally run them down. Fuel have no damage. All they have to do, all Glad's have to do is run after them. So now you shatter a bubble. That's not great, but it is what it is. You can actually react to a shatter and use your, your bubble. It's it's pretty it's pretty high tier to do that, but you can block shatter with bubble. You just have to have a brain. Um <laughs> Patty's low, so he's gonna ice block. Reiner misses a charge. Why did he miss? Oh, he just Hamid just like walks past him. Can they follow up with And like Glad should be just hard committing on Hanbin. And I think everyone's attempting to do that. But I don't know where Reiner is. Reiner's like behind Hanbin. I don't know what... Yeah, even Jaws is like, someone kill Hanbin. I don't know what Reiner's... Maybe Reiner's trying to go after some fucking healer? I don't know who's in the middle of the map. Going after... I don't know. I don't know what Reiner's going after. Somebody must be in the middle of the map. Maybe a healer. But Hanbin living at high energy is just rough. It's fucking rough. Well, I can. Hanbin can. Right. Now for fuel. Unable to get that flip, so the Dallas fuel keep ticking up, and they're going to the last fight. And Hanbin I mean, yeah. didn't even have to use that graviton surge after putting in so much. Glad's want to brawl, and fuel are just so good at not letting that happen. Now you have a grab, plus anti. It's just over, right? Oh, it's actually traded 2 2, so it's 3 on 3 right now. A kill Edison. That's a good Maywall. Good Maywall. How the fuck did they lose shoot? Now ah, whatever. That was crazy. I actually want to look at that grab fight one more time. They're going to grab here and they're going to ante. Well, that's just... It's like unfortunate kind of observing. I don't actually know what's happening. I think Reinhardt, Reiner keeps his shield up? No, he has his back kind of turned. What is, what is Reiner's shield? So good May, so Maywall on one side, shield on the other. Wait, why is Reiner shielding the Maywall? I mean, like, there's a Maywall, and Reiner is facing the Maywall, and then Fielder anties them, which isn't great. But then he gets a rando charge, so Lamau. And then there's a damp matrix, so she probably got some trades because of that as well. I think Glad's gonna make that gonna make that uh bit easier. I, I wonder what Reiner was trying to shield. I wonder if Sparkle and Edison were on the other side of the wall. What was on the other side of that wall? What are we? Oh yeah, Sparkle's there, and he's nanoed. So Reiner's like, if he's gonna break down that shield, I'm ready to block the damage. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, this is uh, three on two, I think, for, for Glads. Now Shu's dead, so Glads are a little bit, a little bit worried. Reiner is like 2 HP. He has to grab a fucking pack. Actually, Chia, uh, Funny Asher went back to to uh, taxi Shu. That's why Reiner's not getting healed. They know they need shoot back ASAP if they want to win this fight because it's the last fight. He'll win this. Bueller is just speeding in too. Hodman is just running through the middle of the map. This guy's. This guy's got cojones. Uh, Reiner's just gonna swing on him. Swing? Only swing on Hodman? Oh, nice shatter. Oh, the sleep. That's fine. I think Hanbin kind of babooned that a little bit. I don't know why you're walking into the middle of the map trying to out brawl at zero energy. But I guess he has to take space. He can't really just be passive. Maybe he just like tried to 
tried <coughs> he tried to walk into the middle of the map and be like shatter me bitch i mean it kind of worked he only got a two-man shatter instead of like a five-man shatter oh sparkful oh my god oh the blizzard right at the choke i love that from patty plus the dead eye which is dead yeah oh Really good setup. And Kevster just frags that at the end. Nice. Yeah. Also just good old usage. Shatter, solo shatter Hanbin. And just the way that <coughs> Reiner shatter too is really interesting. Kind of look at the way he does it. He looks at this. He looks to the right. Not because he's not focused i mean maybe he's also getting vision but it's like a mental game when you play the, the reinhardt so knew that hanbin could maybe have bubble could have bubbled the shatter so he's trying to like think that he's not going to shatter how do you think dallas is going to fare against london at the end of I don't know what to think of Dallas. I feel like Dallas are just a bit lost in the sauce right now. But I think maybe if they discover that leaning on Sparkle's Genji is good for them, that could be a, a boon for them. But I'm just worried about putting all the eggs in the Sparkle basket, you know? It's it's kind of rough that Sparkle is, like, winning, solo winning them so many fights. I don't like putting all the weight on one person's shoulders to win a game, you know? If Dallas match London's rush, I think they'll lose. So it just depends on comps. And I don't think Dallas have figured out the comp that works for them yet. Oh my god, am I fucking this up? Okay, I wanted to go to the next map. Alright, this is just highlights. I thought I just spoiled the next map. Yeah, I think Dallas will lose <coughs> if they match the rush. But if they play Sparkle Genji, they could do well. Sparkle clearly knows how to play Genji into rush comps. So it's like, whatever Dallas does, I hope it involves Sparkle's Genji. Which might be Pepega, to say, because London are not just a rush team anymore. So I really don't know. I'd have to see like what comps they use. All right. Things are the beam people down, so the gladiators they need to find a way if Hanbin does that, get that energy to isolate him. Or rush, him you saw, the, you know, sorry, a Reaper Genji. They're using it, willing to use May ultimates to close it out. Kevs are taking some shots here, unable to get anything done, and it is true. They're going to play the rush style and walk up these right stairs. You don't trust Gurio? Yeah, down to I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't watched enough oh, of Gurio. Straight to the bomb, spawn for the gladiators, though. And uh, Edison, Chia, what yes, the fucking fuck? Man, Fuel took the initiative. Huh. They're using, uh, willing to use May ultimates to close it out. Kevs are taking some shots. Why is Fuel playing so? Okay, Glads go right side. What are Fuel doing? Right so Fuel know that, that there's two people left behind? That Kevster and. Shu are in the back line, so Dallas Seal want to just take a five on two. Is that what's happening? I think that's what's happening. They're all looking at Shu. But then Glads are going to drop and stop that from happening. But I think it's already happening. Fuel have already gone towards Shu, but Glads cut them off. I think that's what happened. Wow. Okay. Green needs to come in earlier so he can warm up. All right, I'm heading out. Bye, Ruck. You all at the next stream. Who on Dallas is the best Sojourn? Should it be Gorilla? Well, Ky Kylol Ky seems to think that Gorilla's Sojourn can fuck. I believe it. So yeah, just good awareness from Glads to um, cut off fuel. From their engage on Chu. In the back line, decided that they might be able to isolate him before the fight even begins. Back to this Next fight. Three minutes, and now they have 5:30 remaining in the point. Just to cap Very the easily. Very quick. Point A captures. Still just got surrounded on their engage, so. And that's Lucky. The books. 
Dexter's on the high really ground. He got pushed off by Sparkle. Oh, not hold. They want to push the car, but it's very beneficial for the Ryan to be in these small Sparkle being on the high ground, though, is kind of sketch. He can just drop down and fuck somebody. Oh, my God. So, Glad's, they're, like, not going to let Sparkle engage. They're just going to... They're actually just going to take the initiative. I really like that from Glad's. I think it would have been dangerous if Glass just stood there because <laughs> you could have had your attention split between trying to pay attention to what Hanbin's doing and counting his bubbles and whatever the fuck to also communicating with your supports on where Sparkle is. So I like that Glass just took the initiative. And I mean, they have the better brawl, right? Running them down before Dallas Fuel has even managed to get energy. Once I make my move, hey Rad, thanks so much for the sub. The thanks for the prime. No, welcome to the group basket. No. Welcome to the stream. Oh, oh, shatter. Oh yeah. Oh, Hanman lives. It's fucking crazy. Did did feel? Who did Fielder Nano? Oh, a oh, Fielder Nano Edison. If Glad's lose this fight, they have four fucking ultimates, almost five. I, I'm gonna be so sad if Glad's loses. That's a huge shatter. Fielder's one. I think I think Fuchio might have booped back to Reiner, and Fielder just anti'd Reiner. So this is bad for him. I don't, I'm not sure what. Oh, oh, they wisered Edison, who was about to go on the flank. That's just crazy awareness by Kebster. Because we know that Edison is nanoed and he's TP'd somewhere. So Edison TP'd here and went into bottom subway. And Kebster knew that Edison was like the only one who could make a play. So Kebster just plays deep into alleyway and literally like out of range from Edison's TP. He just pops visor so Edison fucks off. Oh. There's so many ults from Glads. How, how have they not killed more than them? I mean, they're about to. No way Edison lives, right? No fucking way. Chio hits him with a barrier? Oh my god. How are Fuel not getting absolutely decimated? Hanbin lives with 1 HP. Edison is living with 1 HP. Glad's literally used Blizzard at the choke. They literally are blizzarding the choke and somehow still haven't capped. And it sucks because we don't actually know where the blizzard is placed, but it should have been placed deep enough for that to not be contestable. That is so fucking crazy that Edison lives that. And now Fuel... Oh my fucking god, are you serious? How did Glad's lose this? How? That is just such, like, bad focus. Hanbin was low, he lives. <coughs> Edison, 1 HP, he lives. I mean, to be fair, he was in Wraith form. You literally can't kill him. And the Blizzard doesn't get them the cap. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's just, I mean, it's like Kevster doesn't want to run into Subway to kill him because then Edison would have more damage. You don't want to, you don't want to be close range with the Reaper. So it's like, I'm fine with what Kevster did. And I thought Kevster played that well, but like, Glads were just taking like so many different fights at the same time. They get the frontline fight with the Blizzard. You had to help Reiner because he was like two HP and anteed. Kevster's taking a one-on-one -on -one with Edison, and Edison manages to somehow raise. That was like literally all won by Chio's sound barrier. What a crazy oh, fight that was. Yeah, no, yeah, that's a good point, Shep. Is like, Lads used so many fucking ultimates and just didn't kill him. Like, I'm actually so, like, I'm not as mad about Edison not dying because I think he just used Wraith at the right moment and he got saved by Chio. But why didn't that Blizzard do more? Why didn't Hanbin die? I think Kevster was actually playing alleyway, so they Lads had no range against Hanbin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So that's rough because Reiner drops without the rest of the team. Everyone needs to jump with Reiner. Oh, he actually got booped. 
Where the fuck is Chio? He didn't jump. He got pooped. Where is Chio? Chio's up here. Chio's up here. Chio booped Addy and Reiner. Oh my god, that poop is massive. I feel like... Do you even drop with them? I, I think you're just fucked either way. You stay up here, you get Death Blossom. You drop, you get Death Blossom. Chio's actually cracked. Chio has won them now two fights in a row. What a fantastic setup by Chio yet again. These boops have been supreme. That's actually cracked. It's so rough because I think... I think Glads are rotating up there because they don't want Edison and Sparkle to have high ground advantage. And Glads have like no way of getting up there besides Shu jumping up there and Funny Astro skating up there. So it's like... Maybe they send Funny Astro to like go and boop the DPS off, but then you also don't want your Lucio getting too far away from your Soldier or Ryan, who are like so dependent on on your speed for engages. It's it's tough. I I think it's damn if you do, damn if you don't. You know, because if they would have stayed up there, they would have been just pushed their ship pushed into by Edison, and if they would have dropped, then he would have still got a Death Blossom. So it's like. I don't think there was any way for Glads to salvage that. Unless they had ults, which they don't. But it's like, I understand. It's, it's more the question of, like, why would Glads rotate that high ground? And have the potential of getting booped? Like, maybe they're, like, the only... <coughs> the only thing you could have salvaged was right being aware of that boop. Take... And ang angling your shield to block it. But I think Reiner is just seeing Edison and trying to block his damage and not knowing that Edison, or sorry, that Chio is above him Taking before it's too late. Yeah, it's just tough. Like maybe if Glads were playing a little bit tighter, if they all would have dropped, then they could have all just engaged on the Death Blossom and killed it. That's like the only thing I can think of. So, the fuel would have... <laughs> but Glads are rotating high ground just to zone off Edison and Sparkle. Of the week. Especially seeing as the when maybe the just now. Kevster needs to play so something that has verticality. To get to the Dallas fuel and Dallas like Hanzo or Reaper, something that can go to high ground. Because Glads not being able to contest Edison like on high grounds is like... It's really hurting. Oh my fucking god. Funny Astro is on a mission. Oh, no good poop on Edison. Reiner needs to kind of regenerate his shield a little bit. See Kevster and Shu are on the flank. They can actually amp Matrix. Sparkle actually dove them. Sparkle killed Kevster! Oh, that's so rough. It's still fine. It's still fine, because as soon as Sparkle engaged, the rest of the Glads moved up and made it so Sparkle had no way to exit. Or at least, like, you know. They wanted to capitalize on that, which is good. So close to these ults. These are map or round ending ults. Blizzard near the spawn. You could isolate Hanbin and then they're good to go. I don't even know how to like play Bap into Genji. Like, are you supposed to like pre lamp when the sparkle comes in? I feel like that's just like a recipe for you getting fucked on by other ults. So many ultimates coming up. They got the Hanbin grab. They got the Genji blade. I don't know. Either way, Glad's won the fight. That's all that fucking matters. Hanbin looking for it, not wanting to pop it too early. Oh my God. Gladiators are posturing. Grab. Waiting for this Nano ult to go blade. up. Oh, blade. Nano blade actually. Already in the back. God, Sparkle's so good. It's okay. Glad's didn't use any ults. Nice they have three minutes. It's chilling. Save that grab and the beat yeah, I haven't. For the next fight. A good stand and what's this? I haven't gotten a chance to like zoom in on We've got Hanbin on the high ground Chio's well, what's this as well? the gameplay. How he's playing in rush is very impressive. The be up here with him. Oh, the shatter, but it's blocked by the bubble. Perfect. Oh yeah, another shatter block. Oh, they blizzard themselves to save themselves from the grab. Oh, it actually still catches too. Hilder's dead and they should kill Hanbin. They should kill Hanbin. Okay, Hanbin's dead, it's fine. 
Oh, Hanbin killed Shu! Oh my god. Oh, oh, killing Shu there maybe sucks. Funny Astro, is, is he gonna go taxi him back? They have like no heals for this fight. Uh, they can actually sound barrier engage, so maybe it's fine. I like how the blizzards are just being used to like counter grabs. See, it's like, that's what sucks. Is that... Hanbin killing Shu just kills so much momentum for Glads. Because Glads could have just played Cart and actually just hold both choke points. Or just like at least the, the left choke point. And because they lose Shu, they have to give up so much space. And it's again just like Glads not fully committing on Hanbin. Okay, sound barrier. Save Hanbin. Visor Pog. Visor plus Amp Matrix Pog. And, round completion and the Chia didn't contest, but it's With fine. Time to so, I wonder how this kind of fucked up. This is their Duel. chance to go. Kevster maybe looks for a small flank bass to be careful. Edison is low. Death Blossom. I think, I mean, he's just Death Blossoming in a barrier. Yeah, against Sound Barrier. So he just. He's got the window. He's got the <laughs> just dies to that. The and then the Amp Matrix plus Visor is. Not a combination I've seen too often before, but pretty cool. I thought that was going to be way more fucked for, for fuel, or uh, for glads. But then fuel just kind of got countered. Glads just death blossom, got, or uh, fuel death blossom, got shit on. And then Kevster, Kevster's playing well. Like, Kevster knows how to position against their comp. He always is, like, further away and inaccessible to Edison. So that was good. That's pretty pog. Alright, next round. When you have the Dallas Fuel so spread out. You can only really isolate, isolate Hanbin, and he's done such a good job of it. So why go? Really I was gonna say, why go Widow? I guess he's scouting, but at least take a shot. But I guess because it's the Reinhardt. The oh, look, Funny Astro's like in the fucking skybox. Shoot his ass. Go back to Widow and shoot his ass. Kidding. Okay, so. Now they can march on board. They can take whatever space they so choose. Harmon has to burn bubbles. Ryan can just hold the right thing. Uh oh. Saw, that's what yeah. We saw the Can't let Edison up there. I like that Kevster and Funny Astro are just going to boop them off. Glad's go back to high ground. Oh! Sparkle just dove Kevster. Okay. Glad's are trying to help out Kevster. Funny Astro boops Sparkle off that high ground. Funny Astro is going to go kill Sparkle, right? I think Sparkle grabbed a mega pack. Somehow, Fuel have gotten two takes out of this, though. So, like, what? Still Hanbin, finally. How did Sparkle not die? Maybe Glad's lost space because Funny Astro was going to kill Sparkle, and then Sparkle grabbed Mega, and then that kind of got fucked. Which is all good. Can Edison find much more? He did kill the lamp. Oh, Kevster. Shoot, Edison. It's kind of crack. He keeps TPing into places that are just making Kevster so uncomfortable. And Glads are just playing cat and mouse. But they're the cat and Edison is the mouse. And they keep trying to chase Edison. They just can't get to him. That or when they do, he's probably getting bubbled. Huh. Oh, there's a replay actually. You're gonna see it right here for you. What is he doing here? But gets the hit, gets the biotic nade, hits the oh. gets a sleep on the shoe as well. You can't ask I mean that too. You sleep on shoe, you can't use immortality field, you can't use the regenerative burst. The Builder's shit. having a good game too. I mean this whole match is really fun to watch. Oh. Oh. My fucking god. Sparkle does it again. He dodges the pin. Oh my god, his body just flew. It's a nice win con for Fuel. But they can just depend on Sparkle to... I don't think there's been a fight that Sparkle has bladed that they haven't won. 
waits until it's crazy. Low and punishes, but the gladiators are coming back with so many ultimates. Paddy Pan, I'm sure he's looking for this May ultimate. He's looking for a wall onto Hanbin to isolate him, but Edison on the rafters as well. How, why do they keep meeting up here? Secret meeting spot, not sure. <coughs> For Reiner. He's lining up. Uh oh, it's high ground. He oh, he, he got fielder. No, the barrier. Geo barrier. So did Funny Astro. Addy is Blizzard, but they just Dallas will walk past it. Jesus. I mean, this fight is kind of hard to watch. I honestly couldn't tell you all the interactions. But Yule is fast. They didn't even get frozen. I don't even think they got frozen by that Blizzard. That's fucking crazy. It's a lot of time for Fuel. I think they're a minute and a half faster so far. I think, I think Vlad's had three minutes. I'm not sure. If before, I don't know. Surge. The, the Los Angeles Gladys, they want to get two fights on this point, so they're trying to hold this corner, but they know they're giving respect to Hanbin. Funny Astro is dead before fights even begun. That was funny Astro is just, or Sparkle's just on the high ground. Oh, just Glad's having no contest on these high grounds. It's just fucking them. It's just absolutely fucking them. Especially on point C. Like, Soldier's just not going to be good here. Like, Edison can just TP to the high ground, Sparkle can go to the high ground, and that's literally how Sparkle killed Funny Astro. See it like right here. Like Funny Astro's trying to boot them off. So they're trying to hold this corner, but they know they're giving. But Funny Astro loses. Oh, Funny Astro is trying to boot off Sparkle and one v one him up there. But I guess Sparkle came back up and fucked him. Funny Astro is dead before fights even begun. Rough. Now Sparkle's just on the high ground and Kepster's just didn't look at him until it was too late. Where is Target? Oh, uh, just Kepster gave this clip to everyone. He didn't like fully <laughs> shoot his clip at one person. He shot three different people with that clip. Yeah, I mean. I, I'm just really impressed by all the rookies that came in this season. Oh. Uh, 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 Reiner just fell off the fucking map. He got poop. Bruh. 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 Oh, Sparkle looks so happy. Why are they showing the camera of some guy walking around? Oh, okay, he's hyped. Doing what he does best. The Dark so as well showing a perfect cycling of ultimates. They have the Graviton Surge. They have the Death Blossom. They have the you just, you just like cue in the video of Sparkle just screaming his head off. Another winning team fight. All right. Next round. Is that a picture of fucking Edison? Thanks for the follow, my I guy. Who, who is this? Uh, angry Kelly sports guy. Wait, how is Kevster in the crowd? Are you saying that guy with the hair looks like Kevster? Oh, this guy? <laughs> Are you saying this guy looks like Kevster? Oh, this guy's hyped up. This is what the crowd Yo, how's Kevster in the crowd? Came here to see. <laughs> it's like Kevster's fucking Doing twin. He does best. Edison. Okay, that was a sign of Edison. Fog. Kevster is in multiple places at once. Oh, we get the replay of how Reiner stopped his charge. I mean, that was just a bad charge. It's just unlucky. Like, he's trying to, like, charge the blade and then canceled it too late and he got booped. Unlucky. Rough stuff. But it's like, I. It's kind of a play that you have to do as a Reinhardt. As a fellow Reinhardt main, if you hear a blade, you kind of just have to don't have to if he's close enough that you can swing on him you do that but if he isn't you kind of just have to charge towards your own teammates and hope that you can stop the blade that way so that's what the thought was it just unfortunately was towards the pit i mean people have gotten so good at defending that last point but the cycling of all right this is kind of fun. <laughs> that is like a two minute advantage, which is quite large. 
Sonic Arrow to reveal anybody in the theater, and then a Widow switch. Sparkle narrowly escaping with his life. Lucky Kev's to hit a body shot. <laughs> Bad doing the same thing, Scott. But look at this. So Dallas Dallas. Also, <coughs> has been taken. Hart been in trouble, but right Man, Dallas Rose is on the flank. Dude, where is everybody? Why is Ryder by himself? Where? Oh, what is this? Okay, so Patty and Reiner are here, and Kepster and Shu are here, and they're gonna do what they did last time, where if you'll engage on them, they're gonna use Shu and Kepster as bait to like counter rotate. God's doing the same thing. I think what's what's different about this time, even though this is exactly what happened last oh, time. Look at this. What's different is that one fuel TP to the high ground. I don't think that's what happened last time. And second, Laz are just so late to counter rotating. They're just getting here now. They do get Edison like very low, but then he raised. And then What are Glad's engaging on? Oh, they're going after Fielder. Fielder gets bubbled. Reiner's by himself. And I don't even know where Patty is. Like Patty's just now. Did he, was he on the wall? What was Patty doing? Patty's here. Patty has been taken. Harmbin in trouble, but Ryan has got his back to Harmbin. Not where you want to be, son. I'm not sure if pa uh, Patty's looking this way. Funny Ash is looking this way. Kevster's not in any line of sight to help Reiner. That's just a complete disconnect by Glad. It sucks because that's like they literally did this last time where they left Shu and Kevster and then engaged on fuel when they went after Shu and Kevster. And it's kind of fuck. There's the adjustment by Dallas. They go aggressive and then they come back. Yeah, this would be FD God's meta. Or at least even the last one with Ana. Reiner's on the point. The Dallas Fuel are being forced back, but Kevs is in their back line, but Hunt Edison is hunting him down. Luckily, as that healing oh. station. Okay, let's let me zoom out a bit. Kind of, kind of zoned out for a second. Alright, now they're the going Dallas to point. This fight number two, point. last fight, kind of. Vlad. Kevster, I like that he's contesting high ground. He cannot let these motherfuckers be on the high ground. Don't drop down. Kevster needs to big dick that high ground. Oh my fucking god. Edison is engaging on the sports. Oh my god, Shio booped him out of the immortality. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Okay, I thought Shio was winning that. The way he was wall riding was so sick. Yeah, Kevster was just such in a good position that whole fight. Got a little bit sketchy there with Edison, but. Yeah. FD God got there, criticized. I didn't really watch FD God last season. The gladiators, they have the amplification matrix. I think if you're the Dallas Fool, you need to start playing aggressive stuff. What is that observing? What's going on the there? Because if you try and walk in, actually, they got a different idea. They're going to take the uh oh, you are on the high ground. Lads, you got to engage. Okay, Sparkle. Ah, uh, he's on the high ground. Okay, Sparkle's, Sparkle's dead, right? Oh no, he grabbed Mega? Nope, Sparkle's still dead. Good stuff by Kevster. Except Hanbin and. Hanbin grabbed the rest of the team. So, like, it starts with. You're in the same situation as last time where the fuel have the high ground. Actually, that's on his bio grenade. So Fielder and Spark are on this high ground. And Hodbin. That's so fucking scary. Glad should be trying to, like, not stay in this choke point the if they're above them like that. And I think that's what they're trying to do is they're trying to, like, push up and take this corner and just play as far away from Sparkle as possible. But then Sparkle dashes, gets bubbled, and he's trying to go after Kevster or Shu or some... Oh, I guess it's Shu at this moment. Shu goes the alleyway, which is scary. If immediately pops Ant Matrix, which is fine because it's last fight. Um, Stop them going through one window. But what is what heals so Spark? That's my Every question. Does he Brian just drop? For, I think he drops and gets Mega. So he got burst healed. To, I don't know. Either way. So while Sparkle is like zoning off Shu, you have Hanbin, from the rest of his team. The who's already been working with Edison to, to completely fuck Reiner. And the grab is thrown as Patty and friends try to help Reiner. Yeah. Still crazy stuff from Sparkle. Even if Sparkle doesn't get value, <coughs> and when I say value as in he didn't kill Shu, he still zoned him off and Kevster. 
So removing two people from the fight, he removed Kevster and Shu from the fight so that Hanbin, Edison, Fielder, and Shio could just play 4v, 1, 2, three maybe? I don't know if Funny Astro was there. But then, yeah, Fuel just had the advantage because of what Sparkle set up. Oh, yeah. I don't know what healed Sparkle. He was like 2 HP. Drop super low. Sparkle's here. Oh, maybe he was in line of sight of Fielder. Maybe he got naded. Yeah, maybe he got naded. I don't know. Anyway. Whatever healed Sparkle is also what saved that fight, because Sparkle could have died way earlier. So, man, Sparkle's just saving the fuck out of this team. I'm not saying that the rest of the team isn't good, but, like, holy shit is... Sparkle making a humongous difference. Alright. Yes, no, Zarya. TP forward. At least the cart moved. So Glads can still have some good defensive fights. Getting filled onto this high ground. He's very defensible up here. The gladiators have no. You gotta be careful if they're gonna leave Kevster alone. So the without what we saw from the Funny Astro there to boot. The point, right. Okay, so they're just gonna immediately as soon as Dallas Fuel go through this main choke, they're gonna see if they can engage and maybe wall off Hanbin. Not giving them gonna wall him off? This time. Any walls? Did they wall anyone off? I don't know if that got anyone. I don't think that did. Either way, Kevster still shot at Edison, Edison at range. It's fine. I like that funny Astro is just harassing no Sparkle. Burn, though, Scott. It's not like gladiator. And gladiator just being annoying. Like, he's not hard committing to the 1v1. But 3 minutes 30, that goes away very, very quickly. It's a good kind of like starting fight for Glads. You just got to keep an eye on Hanbin. If he goes through choke, maybe you just wall his ass off. Oh, oh, that was kind of half decent. I think Fuel had speed, so Glads not feeling good about extending into that. Reiner's stupid low. Why is Reiner so fucking low? Did Edison? <laughs> I think Reiner's over here. Reiner's kind of... Oh, Reiner's right here. Shoe missing heels? What's going on? Why is Reiner so fucking low? No, he hit a heel. Reiner's just taking stupid amounts of damage. How does that happen? Is Reiner just out of position? Maybe Reiner's out of position. Yeah, it's just fucked. Maybe Reiner was just slightly out of position. I don't know how I feel about even saying that Reinhardt's get out of position. Because Addy and Funny Astro should just be following him around like little ducks. But to be fair, I think it was the right call to just... Hold the hotel corner, so I'm not sure what Reiner was trying to engage. To keep them in this map. I mean, yeah, I mean, Reiner still got his ass blasted, so. Coming up on all of those ultimates, we said they can cycle them. The gladiator is gonna have to come up with answers. I really like this play by Sparkle. Step up, get that ultimate. You want to get that blade early, and it also makes it slower for the gladiators to approach. Take as much space away from them, so they cannot dictate the the idea of how they're gonna attack this. Oh, Sparkle's building up the blade. Hey, Edison's in the back line, actually. Edison is in the building where Patty is. Oh, Edison has used Wraith. But he gets to just sit in hallway, or alleyway, and get healed by Fielder. So Edison could just perm a back line. Now Sparkle's nanoblading. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Oh man, that is a stomping. That is a stomping. Dallas Fuel showing why no one has really had an answer to their Zaya composition. I was a little worried about them against the rush of the Los Angeles Glass. Yeah, I think I think the issue is just composition too. It's just like Dallas Fuel have an easier win condition with Sparkle. That's his damage. He can just dash through people and go into the back line and stuff. Plus, Kevster, if he uses Tack Visor, he's just going to get shielded. I think, like, Kevster has done what he could 
as the soldier like he's dis distancing himself away where he can but there's certain parts of the map like this where Kevster can't play that far away and then there's points of the map like point c and point and basically the point where the high grounds are so so fucking important and like Lads are trying so hard to have high ground presence, and they just can't. But it's like they have to do these super long rotations to get up there, while as Edison can TP up there, and Sparkle can just climb up there. So it's like Dallas Fuel is just perma flanking. And I just don't think the May has been, like, helping them that much. Like, they're, they're, they're blizzarding themselves to stop the grabs, which has some value, some inherent value. But Patty's not always following Reiner around, so that's, like, a disconnect that happens every once in a while. Which is, like, not a big deal. But if it... Reiner's dying because Patty's, like, engaging on something else with Kevster. So it's, like... If they're gonna play this May Ryan, they have to, like, just be side-by-side -side attached at the hip. Yeah, I don't think Glad's were bad at it. It's just... Compositionally, Dallas Fuel has so many... So many more win conditions. Because the Blizzard's not winning them a fight. Visor's not... It wins some fights, but sometimes it doesn't. Meanwhile, Sparkle wins every fight with Blade. And I think Glads were starting to adapt to Edison's Death Blossoms. I think they started to scatter more, hold speed more, boop them away. Kevster definitely shot at Edison a lot more when he engaged on... I think Kepser is doing what he can, but unfortunately, just on that map in particular, Reaper is just better. So maybe on a different map where Kepster has more space, it'll be a little bit easier for him. And yeah, Glass just... It's just like map dependent. All right, we got a Gibraltar. A shift in meta or, or a shift in matches him and beats him it's a very difficult to turn for your back line fearless you back like fearless in too perfectly comfortable playing that style and the entirety of the dallas feel haven't feel comfortable playing that style we see gurio coming out on that widow maker i doubt arms is going to stick to this symmetra and kept on that sojourn but the widow matchup has been one that has defined the watch point Gibraltar so much. We saw Kai go absolutely crazy and win Atlanta rain the map almost personally yesterday. Can Gurio have that same level of impact? Oh, Gurio's on to Widow. To the veteran presence of Arns. Arns versus Gurio on Widow. Ooh, yeah, let's yeah, get it. I'm ready. Hey, Connor. Feeling a bit better? Yeah, every day gets better. I might always say I'm at 90, 95%. Probably more than 90%. Still coughing a lot. Hey, Morris. How are we? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How are you? I like that Grio's on the low ground. Not easily diveable. Oh, Lemon's throwing my practice mask. Thanks for the follow. Bubbles are making it hard for Grio to get shots. Oh, got a body shot there, I think. A launch headshot sparkle. How does that happen? It's a lot of pressure away from Arns at this point. Gurio oh my god. Rio also now headshots Kevster. Now you're four on four. Respawn advantage for Glass though. It's an important kill if you're ah, I guess it's like pretty even. I don't know. He's, he's not a big deal. So hey Thrillium, what's up? That could have oh. snowballed away from the Dallas fuel with that pick from Arns. Oh, oh body shot onto Arns. Body shot. Onto Arns, doesn't need. Oh, I literally just said that. <laughs> the caster said it. Someone needs to get on this card, and it's going to be Arns for them. You need to get this card pushed so that when you get that high ground presence, you can solidify on the capture. But the Dallas fuel. Yeah, like guys are taking so long to get high ground. Oh, slept? Oh, Sparkle? Come on, Hans is 30 HP, you have to kill this. Oh, I guess Shu gets... And that Pulse Bomb was on the wall, how did she die? Uh, she's very low. I think. Because it's on the wall. Shu's right next to it. He's trying to walk away from it. Too late. Pulse bomb from Sparkle. Good pulse from Sparkle. 
now, now Glads are fucked even more. I mean, Briggs still puts out a good amount of heals, so maybe it's not totally fucked. And maybe it is fucked, because Kefs is on the low ground pushing cart. Skew took a lot of shots there. Tyra should be in bed. Up in the stream, though. Oh, I'm glad. Glad you guys enjoy this. Watch my gladiators all day. Even Brutus in season one. Nice. Shields up. Sad eaters. <laughs> oh, I thought that was even a headshot. Ooh, double blink. The server. Lives are taking so long to get like anything done. Oh, oh. oh run away. Ah. Two kills for the Kevster, Glad's Primal. It's not really that great. It's not that great. Glad's. Oh, maybe Kevster should have focused on blading Fielder and Chio. Or maybe you can't because Chio's fucking mano. Man, just Fuel has so much sustain. Chio's fucking mano. He's going to survive forever. Fielder's getting. Fielder's getting fucking pocketed. And Kester decides to blade Widow and just is so far out of the fight. Meanwhile, just feels like Glads have no damage because they're taking a fight in these like tiny ass rooms where I don't even think Ons has line of sight in. Somehow Shu dies. I think Shu was still in server. Just man, this is rough. Glads have gotten really nothing out of that fight. I need you to be impartial, but who's your team? You're a soul fan? Um, I'm a fan of Atlanta and what they're doing this meta. I'm a fan of teams that play well. So my, my team changes up. Fuel sends me a lot of merch. And I have some friends on the Fuel staff. So like, I don't know. If I had to pick like an org to join streaming for it'd probably be dallas but that doesn't mean if i say i like a team you know here's my disclaimer if i like a team or if i it doesn't mean i'm cheering for them more than others before you guys get mad at me <laughs> Only oh. have the rally. They're going to need to rally around each yeah. other and move towards this server because so far they've enabled the Dallas Fuel back. I mean, that's just a smart move by Fielder to just nano Chia. Oh, they had so much to stand. Lads are getting nothing done. They have 47 seconds left. They've like stuck in A forever. So close to each other, Maybe if Ons wins this 1v1, but. The picks on either all sparkle. You got to be careful still. Huge nade, by the way. Oh my god, oh Reiner's just pounding Oh, really? That was a three-man anti? Hold on. Did you watch it? Oh, it is a three-man anti. Holy shit. How did Shu hit that? So they're just up here. Oh. So here's the three-man anti. They walk up to the high ground and Shu just anti. So this is what's happening up here. Because that's where Fielders, Chio, and... Rio, I guess, have been up. I like that Glads are pressuring up there. That's a sick play from Chu. And they have the rally from Skew that helped them sustain. See the leftover overhealth. Streamer bias badge. Oh, did you end up picking a team, PSX? Are you an Atlanta fan? I have the fuel emote. Where's my emote? I have burn blue. Burn blue, baby. From Kevster on the Genji as the Dallas Fuel get those forward spawns. That is an important set of picks for the Los Angeles Gladys. Oh, nice. As you can see now, oh, wait, you have it. You have all the emotes exactly too. Oh. They want to. The card is moving and the Dallas cool. Fuel are going to need to use these ultimates to get in. Sparkle throws a pulse bomb. So, yeah, she won them that fight. That yeah. Oh. So now Kevster's on the hunt. To get something done with this primal rage. I, think here, but... I think here I would prefer probably having a Genji over a Tracer. It feels like Genji will have a slightly easier time getting to high grounds. But Sparkle still, can still get up there. He just has to take the freaking staircase. He's got to take the elevator. Oh, God. He's just rivaling this poor Gurria widow. Wait, he got slapped. Shoot, shoot, slept fearless. 
Another shoe play. Og champ. Oh, played by Kepster? Big. That's a great place to play, too. It's just unfortunate he didn't get the dash. Why didn't he get the dash? Huh? I'm gonna watch this again. It's weird that he doesn't get a reset. Kills Fielder. Why didn't he get the reset? Unlucky. He would have killed so much more. He had the reset. Any Genji mains want to tell me why Kevster didn't get the reset? Nah, it doesn't fucking matter. He still won the fight. Like how Glads are just like, man, that Genji guy is really good. We should play Genji too. Comes in with that primal rage. They go back and then re there was a with bug with blade. Genji reset? Oh, easy. shit. Once again, the That's Fuel weird. Getting caught with these forward spawns. They should have jumped off the cliff, and now the gladiator is taking more. I don't know. It's fixed. Space. Oh. Being able to play the game, however, I feel like Sparkle didn't get those bugs. Of arms. This is so hard to re engage into because he's going to hit these headshots, and Dallas Fuel have got to be careful. This map is slipping away from them. I didn't know about that reset bug. I should probably keep track of bugs better. One thing on the slow ground scaring me. He's like in this tiny room to not get dove on, but it's also very accessible to the uh, tracer. So, playing on to prefer being in this, in this high ground. But you have to get that space back. Sparkle's not gonna let him get up there. The ultimates to get into this fight. They're He's fighting for good widow. As right. soon as odds gets into this top right or or this bridge, once they get close to point, like that's just the god spot. Odds is trying to play very safe because you do not want to be in dive range. Oh, the stick onto the shield. Oh, send onto the shield. Oh, stick onto the shield. Can't tell if that was on the shield or on the body. Oh, the deflect was almost cool. The deflect of it. Oh, he went to the side of the shield. Did you see that? Wait, where's my tracer? Watch this. He goes, he sees Skew's shield up. And he's fucking links to the side of it. So smart, so good, so wow. Oh, he killed him with a slash, and then he dashed and didn't kill after. Oh. Anyway, this is cool. Wow, very cool. Cause yeah, did you guys know that? Not only is Brig a good counter to Genji because you can bash his ass in, but. If you get the pulse bomb on your shield and you let go of the shield, the pulse drops on the ground. Unless shit like this happens. So, pretty pog champ by Sparkle. A quick look to the right. Shield. Yeah. The wrong Good fight by Fuel. Tracer counters Brig. I mean, I guess, like, I would say in Overwatch 2, yeah. <coughs> I mean, it's... Definitely, you can you can you can link around the Brigida and definitely kill her, but Bray can also peel for herself very well. So it's like the tracer just has to not be a dumbass, but it also creates like a level of space around the Brigida and the other support that having a Brigida is at least a better option against the tracer than not. <coughs> They have a lot of time because of how quickly they kind of depends how you play it. Seconds remaining, they don't have a lot going for them. The Dallas Fuel if they think the presence of a break makes a Tracer uncomfortable, so I guess I won't go as far as saying it counters break anymore because there's no stun, but it definitely makes the Tracer uncomfortable. Just slowly but surely. Oh, yeah, Kevsa does not want to try that. Nor the Brigitte right next to him. Just slowly but surely, the Gladiators inching this. Hey, Ons may could have a good position on the Widow, but who's he shooting at? He's getting sh on is getting shot by something down here. Uh oh, choose fuck. You have sleep? No sleep. Wait, he's just fucking giving everyone the backhand. Oh my god, and fearless lives. What a guy. 
Yeah, Tracer and Brig is just complicated. It's not like a clear rock, paper, scissors anymore like it was in Overwatch 1. Unfortunately, that juggling of the back and forth isn't enough, oh. and they're able to live. But Dallas Fuel, they have the space. There was too many resources invested by the Gladiators. Yeah, Fuel is just primaled really well and there, too. For the gladiators. 30 seconds remaining. We're going into <laughs> the fight. That takes so long to get anything control, done. But they don't now they have no ults. And on still can't go, can't go into the top right, because they haven't dealt with Sparkle on the right side. Exactly Maybe Kepster has to go do that. Oh! Oh, Ons is in the god spot. Yo, Daz, what's up? What a shot by Arns. Both DPS what's poppin'? Yeah, jeez. Ons in the god spot, just taking hot shots. You got Reiner pounding cheeks in the back line. Just <laughs> when I thought Glads were gonna get full held, they fucking full cap. That took so long to deal with Sparkle. So long. It's about time that Kevster swapped off Genji too. His blades are definitely not Sparkle levels of blades, but it's fine. Like, Kevster's still good. He's not dying with blade, you know? I missed the Tracer kill? I was kind of wondering how they dealt with, with, with Sparkle, so maybe I'll just go look at that. Yeah, because Sparkle's on the right side, and Kevster just goes and kills him? Wait, that Sparkle's like just below them. I don't see. Oh, wait! Sparkle diffs Kevster. Takes the head off of Gurio. It was like the first widow on with who kill we've seen. In oh! Oh my God! Thank you for pointing that out. So Sparkle wins it, and then you just got a random, Gurio. random fucking headshot. Jesus! Uh, <laughs> thank you for pointing that out. I missed that the first time. Learning from you about Overwatch. Pog. And okay, we're all learning together. That was a s fucking... It's about time. Like, that's all the Glads wanted to do was get this top right position for Ons. Because look what fucking happens when Ons gets his position. He just absolutely fucked on them. I mean, you know, Reiner did a lot of work too, but... Sparkle did a good job of making just Glad's uncomfortable. And he killed Shu once with a pulse bomb. Like, Sparkle's not that bad of a tracer. I, I, I just didn't know anything about Sparkle's tracer until now. Okay, my bad. I kind of went too far. Oh, uh, this fucking stupid Roadhog strat. Maybe next time, maybe it's not maybe stupid. Next time. I get why so they do it. I just think it's cringe. Once again, pick up the Genji. If it works, it's not cringe. And the attack begins. We saw this in oh, the Reiner fucked up his jump. Then we're gonna. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sparkle playing fire there. Sparkle's just pressuring Ons here. Dallas trying to push the cart and also control that high ground. Who is pushing cart? Sparkle. Sparkle. See, Ons is just trying so hard to, to, to kill Sparkle, but the motherfucker has such a tiny hitbox. I can't even heal the motherfucker as an Ana, let alone try and hit a Widow Snipe on it. Okay, good server control from the supports of Glads. We're in the line of sight of Reiner. There's just so much cart push. Kevster kind of needs to contest that more while also juggling the high ground. It's... <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, that's just what they have to do is chill on this high ground and not let this cart go anywhere else. Oh. oh. How did he snip out where Sparkle was? Oh, uh, what the fuck was that? Kevster almost just got full clipped. He just, like, stood still here. Oh, he got stuck in the doorway? That was almost kind of bad from Kevster. That was scary. Uh, Ons is playing so deep. Oh, Sparkle somehow is still harassing Ons. Sparkle is just so deep. He's got the pulse bomb in hand. Ons He's just gonna kill Ons! Okay, that is unnecessary pulse bomb, but whatever. 
I feel like Kepster's like not going after Sparkle at all. And I don't feel like Garia is doing enough to warrant Kepster just committing to that. I think Kepster's maybe just trying to follow around what Reiner's doing to help with high ground control, but like Sparkle is the fucking problem and always has been. The guys that can recontest those Scott. Reiner getting out alive is important. Primal Rage in the back. Trying to get Phyllis away, but Phyllis has just taken them right back to their spawn. Ans is now in trouble. He's oh my god, how did he not kill Ans? He he's, he's getting right fucking packed up the ass. Got to try and find a kill, but, uh, now Wait, how have they not capped this yet? This is not going to be a Dallas Field choke, is it? Oh my fucking god. Okay, the flail. Okay, good flail by a Chio. Fucks up Kevster's jump. Okay, hog chance. Hog champ. It's only a matter of time. They just need to focus down skew. They do just that, and the fuel. Open those yeah, Chio is <laughs> really good. All right, next fight. We're on the we're on top ship. Oh, that's a widow. But Hans is in a spot that he can't really be dove on either. I mean, he could. Let's we'll see. Oh my God, Hester. No Extra blade. Don't, don't go after the Winston. No don't do that. Uh, don't do that. That's bad. Fearless, but the, oh. The quick heal oh. Dodge on the flail. Oh. Sure Fielder did not want that smoke. Fielder got the smoke. Stops the fuel from a really good dive. Oh. Hefster got help. Oh. Uh. 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 What the fuck? Sparker has killed Skewed. Oh. Sparkle oh. has killed oh. Kepster. Kill skewed and Kepster. Nice well, it's... That's something that Dallas can work with, because the rest of the team is literally dead. I'm pretty sure Sparkle was, like, the only person alive. Lads are just going to hold shift. Or I guess hold close. They don't want the Widow to get positioning, but... Oh my god, it's a three-man anti. Yeah, they're just going to stay inside a ship and hide. Where's Gurio? Okay, well, Ans found Gurio, so... you are just... Gonna get Jump fucked the, even the more. The very, very hard place like this dive. On should die. Here we go. The fielder's dead. So now field don't have Gurio. They don't have fielder. They don't have fearless. Alice field have to reset. This is such a hard part of the map to fight. You just have these stupid little chokes. The defensive widow has like so many spots they can snipe from. It becomes almost impossible you just if you're the fuel you have no vision like, unless you have line of sight like unless you as in, you have no vision until you literally show yourself in the doorway and then you get sniped on it's like this is so hard for any attacking team to get through <laughs> dallas fuel are just ripping off on the left side good flail by chio this is really good peel the other might have to nano chio if they need it. Doesn't look like it, though. Oh. Gurio's just getting packed up by Chio. Good sleep. That means they can headshot Reiner and kill him. Come on, commit, commit, commit. Jesus Christ. I think he was trying to, like, dodge a sleep. Jesus. That was so hard. With the silhouette moving on, they are going to give it up, and they got to be careful about, about getting snowballed here. Dallas fuel, they smell blood in the water, and they're going aggressive. Yeah. Another big <laughs> There's the nano on to fearless pulse bomb. What the fuck is happening? But, uh, Hold up. Be careful about, uh, Why are Glad's playing so see, close? With the silhouette moving on, they are oh, it's because she was bad spawns. She was bad spawns, so they're like, oh fuck, we have to fight or we're going to get staggered. Probably a smart decision to just take the, the fight and see if they can save Shu. Oh, Pulse, I think, just stuck somebody. Oh, yeah, he's stuck. Uh, who is this? Chio's body. Chio's dead. It's stuck by Kevster. Why the oh, yeah, she's still at bad spawns. I forgot. Forgot that he didn't actually move. Huh? It's fine. It's fine. You'll take those ultimates. And come back stronger. That Chiyo smells like food in my house. Said, I want food. Be able to set up that yeah, that stick now, on the Chio is nice by Kevster. Kevster. 
It's hard for him to do all of anything. Luckily, there's a health pack behind him. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh my fuck. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What? Isn't he pulse the ground here? He didn't even stick him. He stuck the shield. Uh, I'm so confused. Did he he didn't get the stick notification. It looked like he stuck the shield. And then he never dropped the shield. He stuck the shield, and I don't think he dropped the shield. Because if it would have stuck the body, he would have got the stuck notification, but he didn't. I think he hits the shield. You can kind of see it, like, here. I think it's on the shield. And Skew never drops the shield. I think it was just... Side of the shield? Can he not drop it? I don't know where the fuck it was. I don't really know. I guess I won't make an assumption. The Dallas Fuel now have an opening. Ryan is going pretty low. He's only got one healer to anyway. pick him up, but it's not enough. The nade to finish it. That, that pulse is very bigly huge. Shoe living is good, though. At least they don't get staggered too much. Sparkle with a headshot. Important pick that slows the roll of the Dallas Fuel. Importantly, though, for them, they held on to that rally. They had these yeah, Cus is right. That definitely that pick definitely slowed Fuel down. Oh my god. Damage. What are these the sticks? Balls. These sticks are crazy. We're getting pulse bomb kills every fight. He tries to bash into the wall, which would have put it off the shield. Yeah, I don't know. I think he was trying to, like, shield bash away from, from Shu to make sure that Shu didn't die of it. But then, like... You never see him drop the shield, so I wonder if, like, it would have dropped the bomb. I don't fucking know. I don't really know so what Gurio happened. Trying to get away from his team so he doesn't do any team damage. That's just crazy, that though. He just fucking pulsed another bitch. <laughs> now they just get to really camp this doorway. I got that Sparkle kind of left. I don't think he should have been staying too much longer. Builder can play aggro here. He's got primal. Depends. What is he going to want to... Dive here. Forty-five seconds remaining. Somebody's up here. Oh, that's that's fear. Uh, that's Reiner. A good job of playing and you want to set up your down. widow on this top spot. It's kind of important for Korea to get up there. Gilius is just going after the sports. Oh, he gets fucking slept. Oh, he's woke. He he is in fact woke. Oh shit! Gilius is counter primaling. Oh, this is so much better. Oh my God! Did Chia, was Chio rallying all during that primal? Oh my God! This rally is literally what kept Fielder alive, but then they got anti to fuck. So it was almost cool. Yeah. Geometry doesn't cooperate. Gotcha. Maybe thinking better of a little bit here with the Do you guys see all the, the APAC stuff? I guess I'll talk about the APAC stuff after this map is done. Okay. And a fearless. What the fucking fuck happened? How do they get off the car? Oh, Sparkle's not there. That sucks. That's actually a really important point presence that they just don't have now. So it's like Fearless just has to stay here. Fearless shouldn't be diving. Oh, he gets flailed off. But why doesn't he go back? Oh, he's just fucking it away. God, Skew just fucking tossed his ass around. Geometry's a bitch. Yeah, Jesus. I just, Gurio just didn't do anything. I, I I don't know how much I blame him because Dallas Fuel never got the top right positioning. So Gurio has to play like ass deep. And the only people he's going to get to snipe are freaking Reiner, who's, who's a tank. So the difference is, is that Glads prioritized the top right to get Ons in a good position. While as Fearless, all he kept doing was, was jumping Shu and Skewed, who slept him and fucked him. I would say the Kepster Sparkle Tracer duel was actually pretty close and fun to watch. Just sucks that Sparkle got sniped at the end here. Because if that wouldn't have happened, Sparkle would have tried to keep the point contested. 
Gorillas to make sure he can touch. They still have to keep. I mean, yeah. we're comparing Gurio to like the best, one of the best widows in the world. Hi, <coughs> Twinkie. All right. Sounds feels like bad. I mean, we're trying to like a little say that Gurio's not as good as Ans, who's like insane. Feels bad. Who even knows if Gurio will ever get that good, you know? Gurio got like one snipe. It's, it's just sure. at all so far. Bread and all right, next Plus map, you. final map, I think. To be to that rush. On. Come on, where's the next map? Let's say, hey, dad, Hanbin is my dad. That's the type of sign that I would have. Ons established. He is established. Establishing his nuts on other people's faces. Ons is good. Like we saw earlier, very slow, just waiting for the picks from the Hanzo, but Gladiators, they all right. don't want to wait around at all. We already see Kevster making his way around the side. You'll see him right behind the Dallas field. They're not going to allow them to just free shoot, try and get some of those okay. from the Hanzo, but Gladiators, look at these comps. don't want to wait around. All right. Got a Doom with range. So Kevster and Reiner and Funny Astro going to engage together. You got a Nano Visor as your win con. Kester has been sticking things pretty well with Pulse Bomb, so that'll be fun to watch. You don't really have an answer to a Tracer, though. I get scared when people play Hanzo into Tracer, because Hanzo just gets absolutely dangled. I literally watched Dallas Fuel get dangled by Proper. Is it Proper? No. No, sorry. Uh, Proper was shitting on Boston's Hanzo. Was that Victoria or Valentine? I forgot. But either way. Dallas Fuel is just like full range. So if Kester can get into the back, I can be good. Oh, Lemon's <laughs> throwing my Yo, thanks to the follow. Uh, Hanbin, or sorry, uh, <coughs> if Edison and Sparkle can just poke Reiner down before he engages and play far away enough, that's their win con. They got Nano Visor 2. They got Grab, uh, Grab Dragon. That's another great win con. Um... At all. See how this goes. We see Kev's the making his way around the side. You look, he's already behind the Dallas field. They're not going to allow them to just. I play Tracer against Hanzo in my face. I just was magnetic. Oh, really? It's hard. I mean, a good Tracer should be able to blink around Hanzo. But sometimes the Hanzo just has the right lineups and gets lucky. Kev's getting harassed by Chio. Kevster's in the back. Kevster's in a good spot. Putting on the, the pressure, the tempo that I thought they would. Bad like posture. Just I feel my back right bending. Like they they Edison to get a pick. They need to find some form of purchase. The Reiner's just doing soft engages because he doesn't want to take too much poke. Oh, Kevster is still in the back. Kevster is still here. Now that Kevster's gotten that pick, Reiner's going to engage. They play aggro. Reiner's pounding cheeks. Glad's win the first fight. That'll be the win for the... That was Valentine. I mean, yeah, that, that, those poor kids were so fucking boomed. I, I would just cry myself to sleep if I got shit on that hard by shock. I, I would just, I would take a long vacation from Overwatch. You'll need to keep Kevster in check. They can't let Kevster live in their back line. I think it's got to be Sparkle that. Oh, uh, they have Edison on Tracer now, so they have something for that. Oh, almost on the pulse. Fiddler jumps out. Fiddler's still in the back line. What's Edison doing? And a visor. Good ultimate. Oh my god, the, the dip dive and dodge around Reiner. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh! Sniping Shu as soon as Reiner's gone. Good run. Really smart the way that fuel played around that Ryan, uh, that, that Ryan, that, uh, that Doomfist, aka Reiner. Oh, Patty and Shu used Nanovisor too? I didn't even see that. They got deleted so quick. Patty's in a good spot. Like it. Half expect Sparkle to be good on Sojourn? Maybe. I feel like it's so mechanically demanding. 
rocks up, no one shoots him, hasn't got that charged up punch, and actually the fuel but then that if that's if, if sparkle is just more mechanically is just mechanically better than edison then maybe maybe you're right have like edison on hanzo and sparkle on sojourn or some shit or like edison tracer sparkle sojourn i think tracer is better with sojourn but so whoever whoever is the better tracer i think maybe that's what you prioritize the Dallas feels slowly moving. I don't know. I really don't know what Dallas should do. Their tank situation is probably what's got to be figured out first. Who's going to play Sigma? Are they going to play Doomfist? Are they going to stick to Rush with Fearless? Should probably figure out like their, what their tanks want to do first. I think Sparkle's good at the flick scan. Hanbin's dead, so everyone else from the fuel are gonna die too. And a visor from Sparkle's ambitious. It's not gonna work out though. I didn't even kill a single person. It's awful. I'm gonna love push. Yeah. I think it's fun. I think. I think it's fun. I'd like to see more push max. I'm kind of bored of just the same two. I'm not bored. I'm just like. Graviton Surge runs off of Reiner. He's got a bubble on top of him, and now a beat to match. Area. Shio finds a kill on Surge runs right off of Reiner. Area did not save Shu. They have everything they want. Unfreaking lucky. Graviton Surge runs right off of Reiner. He's got a bubble on top of him, and now a beat. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't save Shu. Unlucky. You still get more trades if you kill fast enough. Lads are trying. Reiner got slept. Lads are running around. Oh, Nano Visor though, or just Visor actually. So Patapan's dead and Shu's still coming back. Funny Asher could probably. Oh, yeah. Funny Asher is probably taxiing Shu back right now. Now it's probably Glad's just trying to maximize her distance and fucking off, right? Wait, what the fuck? Kepster just killed Chio. Well, I'll slow down the fuel for a second. Rio's gonna be escort? I don't actually know what Rio is gonna be. I didn't play Rio. Maybe that was a smart heads up play. Who's Gladiator is on a timer? Is that the game chip barely changes as it progresses? I think it's cool. I mean, Wait, think about how life. a lot of people are saying that push is like repetitive because you're just taking fights at the same parts of the map. But like, then what is control? Control is literally fighting at the exact same part of the map for like minutes on end. So, yeah. I think it's it's just a payload map that goes backwards. There's three sub maps, I guess. I guess like, but then there's also different parts of of push. It's like your middle part, and then the second part, and then the third part, I guess. But you never really get to the third part, so you're just in the middle and the second part. So I like push I like play because so Salt is boring to to me. I don't like going to multiple rounds forever. In payload, at least there's a lot of diversity on the different parts of the map. I like push. I don't know why people say they don't. But that's their opinion. They can like whatever they want. But I like it. Ooh, both honest traded out. It's going to be better for Vlad's. They have closer respawn. <laughs> yeah, passing it is actually just as hard as watching it, too. I often have to look at my map overview to see uh, how many people are alive. Because Overwatch observers are very obsessed with first-person point of views. No matter how many times I tell them to give us more third person that's what the gameplay looks like from Dallas Fuel the coordination all the plans it's fine the window they're just throwing their bodies at the point to stop I'll, I still get the information and I'll do my best to explain it when we stick on first person man Hum is just tossing patty good fight oh actually because of the barrier from funny Astro it's kind of winnable Kepster's fragging out come on Kepster win that Where'd Sparkle go? Kill him. Kill Sparkle. Oh. Well, Fielder's gonna walk in one HP then. How the fuck is Kepster just, like, winning this? 
There's a minute to go. I don't think all of Glads are even alive, so they're just gonna prevent the cart from going anywhere. Or far at least. Oh, somehow Edison is on Reaper, and not only that, he's in the back line. Good bubble though. That was a really good bubble from Ryder to block most of that damage. Oh, my lips are so dry. Ah. They're just not playing the same way we know. Edison forcing this death blossom, and the gladiators are just playing reactively. They haven't even really needed to use ults to deal with it. I mean, glads, yeah. I mean, they don't have to push past the 71 meters now. They just got to keep control of this pillar's this pillar's side, which is what they're doing right now. Now they're just gonna wait for Shu to get nano and just nano visor, unless Patty gets like a sick angle and then just go for it without it. But might as well just wait. Oh, he almost got Patty with that. That would have been such a sick play. Nano Visor, any time now? Oh. oh, but against the B. <laughs> Nano Visor into B. Oh, Fielder's dead, though. Yeah. The fact that Kevster just went big in that last fight and that Fuel just got no push going. Okay. Now the shoe's dead. I mean, that's a winnable fight for Fuel for sure. But they have to push this in overtime, which is kind of rough. Yeah. But not even the circle. The, not the circle overview, sorry. I meant like the, the zoomed out view. So not the circles, but when they're just like this. Like this point of view. Okay, actually, I didn't pay attention. So, okay. You will have to win this fight or they lose. Oh, man. Hodman has such a good engage. Oh, what a sleep from Shu. Kevster gets the pulse as he's sleeping. Wow. Oh, how is Fielder alive? Oh, Fielder has no fade. Help, Fielder. Oh, my God. Guys just pounded Fielder. Wow, what a game. And Ryder's tall as fuck. Is he tall? That's crazy. Oh my god, this guy's so depressed. Who is this? Can't tell. That was a really good series, though. I hope they're not upset. They still get another chance. That yeah, guy just up, like walk boy? out of the re arena. What's up? Guy with nice. Oh, 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 just yet. <laughs> Wait, Asher went for the hug and got rejected. Wait, where? They still get another chance. No, nah, Buddy Astro's just giving them a. Someone hug Buddy Astro. He's just giving back pats. Oh, it was earlier than that? Oh. This one? Oh, uh, yeah, Funny Asher got his hug. He got his hug. He got his hug there, too. This guy needs a hug. Chio needs a hug. Oh, Chio played so fucking well, too. So sad. They still get another chance. Well, whatever. Uh, funny Asher got his hug at the end. The Leave him alone. <laughs> out of this just yet. The gladiators move Shish. on board. A 3-1 victory. On what was a little bit of a struggle from the fuel, but gladiators showing their adaptability and their just their compositional differences. They can play basically whatever. They have a very, very deep hero. Yeah.